Okay, here's more reinforcements now. We're now getting reinforcements from these fortresses, getting mercenaries and cavaliers for a few turns, and some brigands from down there. I am going to have those brigands. I'm not going to chase them. I'm not going to chase those brigands. I'm going to rather have them just march to their own deaths. Look at Will. Will is doing well. Huh, Will. Will's making me second guess him right now. I have to be honest, he's, he's making me think about him a little bit more. I like it. I like it. Uh, okay. Does Lynn have a javelin? Lynn does have a javelin. So you know what I am going to do? I'm going to do a bit of a, I don't know, this might be a bit of a roundabout thing to do, a bit of a roundabout strategy, but I am going to give Sane a javelin so he can actually take that guy out. And I'm going to attack with a javelin, and let's see if this hits. 55? Ah, oh, no, I really wanted Sane to get the experience. I really wanted Sane to get the experience. I, I gave it my best shot. I gave it my best shot. So I guess Will is going to have to soak that one up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Will is going to get the kill there. Now the rest of these units are... See, I'm thinking about Will now. You know, I didn't use Will in Lin's story, but he might be making a comeback after that. If I get the extra space in my army to use an archer, maybe maybe Will's the guy. He's better than Rebecca so far. Jeez, he got like one level up where he gained more stats than she gained total so far. So anyway, I'm just going to sit land right here on this space and all these brigands are just going to come marching to their deaths eventually so that'll be fun that'll be fun actually does lynn have a, a, a sword lynn doesn't have like an iron sword a normal iron sword so i'll have to get that from kent uh after the next turn but anyway i kind of meant to do that before all right now let's get prepared for what's going to go on up here um what's going to happen eventually probably within three turns or so cavaliers are going to start pouring in from up here and that sucks when you have Merlinus over here. It's not so bad if he's not on the map, but there's really no reason to not uh, deploy him. So it's terrible when he's there and you need a guard there. Luckily, you only kind of need a one space guard. Okay, let's, uh, let's let Matthew get a level up here. Come on, Matthew. Skill, wow, skill went up. That's He's been lagging behind in skill very much. And Matthew for level 10, I mean, I know combat is the specialty of Thieves, but man, I really wish he was doing a little bit better. I really do. Right, he's kind of disappointing me. He, no, he's really disappointing me. Alright, these guys have all... That guy's a sword, that guy's a javelin. What are these reinforcements? They're all responding with lances. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I just want to make sure I stay out of the range of that guy, which he, he's, he's no threat to me right now. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna move Hector. I might as well visit the house, I guess. So I'm just gonna stand there anyway. And hey, talk about a prepubescent boy. This is a really young boy. Are you one of Elliewood's soldiers? You have that look about you. <laughs> okay, I guess Hector has that look about him. He's one of Hel Imagine Hector would be like, no, I'm my own soldier. How do you not know Hector? The villagers are saying that you can defeat an enemy in the blink of an eye. When I get older, I'm gonna be swift. Just you wait and see. Oh, that was kind of like motivational and cute. Not not very purposeful, but it was cute. It was cute. All right, um, I'm gonna be defensive again to start things off here. Right, Lowen, Lowen is still level six. Let's try to get him to kill something. Namely, this archer would be a good idea. Can he get him with the lance? He could, but he needs to hit two 66s. Not very likely. So let's try to have you. Let's try to use Guy to weaken him a little bit, and then uh, come in with Lowen to get the kill. All right, get a little more experience. Guy is almost going to level up. I'm actually really excited for Guy to level up. He has yet to disappoint, and I really don't think he ever will. He's Guy, after all. He's the he is the he is the guy. He wants to be the guy. I can't believe I've made that joke yet. He wants to be the guy, and so far he is being the guy. He is amazing. Um, okay, I want to make sure Florina and Priscilla are safe, even though Florina could take some damage. Uh, I'm going to move Florina a little bit back up into the fray here. I want to still keep her out of the range of that javelin. I think that javelin can really hurt. So let's, let's put her right over there. And of course, right away from that archer. So that goes without saying. Um, and Ellie would... I uh, can't get Priscilla up there because that guy with the javelin would take a shot at her. I really don't want that to happen. Although, what's his speed anyway? His speed is 6... Uh, what is Priscilla's speed? Priscilla's speed is 8, so he wouldn't be able to double attack her, but still, I don't want that to, I don't really want that to happen at all. Okay, let's see, what's going on over here? Uh, Sane and Kent and Will need heals, so you know what, I'm gonna put Florina a little further this, or not, I keep mixing them up, why do I keep saying Florina? They both end in A, maybe, Priscilla, Florina, kinda sounds similar, no, they're not the same at all, Priscilla's gonna go over there. Let's see what these guys do. I'm really curious as to what that guy with the javelin is going to do. Is he just going to continue trying to hurl javelins at Matthew and just keep missing over and over? Or is he actually going to try to mount some sort of offensive? I, have, I really have no idea. Anyway, nothing is going to stand a chance against Elliewood. Elliewood is so good. 
He's so good. I'm so happy that he turned out really well. I really am. He is. He's going to continue his javelins. Wow, I, I am shocked that he would try that. I mean, clearly, they don't have Eric as a tactician because I would never advise throwing a javelin at a 15 hit percentage. You know, I say that now, and then maybe a few chapters from now, you'll be, I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to try throwing a javelin at a 15 hit percentage. What? Anyway, okay. Uh, everyone finally gets to move over here, and the two parties finally get to join up in the middle a little later than I was expecting, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, like I said, that kind of did set me back, though, having, uh, ha oh, I meant to take the iron sword. Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot to take the iron sword. Ah, uh, that's alright. That's alright. I guess Lynn's gonna get some early use out of her manicotti, but, man, I did forget to take the iron sword. That's my bad. My bad. I did forget about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, perfectionists. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, let's see. I might as well do this. There's really, there's literally no harm in that. <laughs> so I just got Matthew stand. And Matthew's level 10 right now. Did I? Do I remember that correctly? Matthew is pretty high level. So he's doing really well for a thief. I would just wish his strength and skill were a little higher. Speed. I mean, I'm surprised speed isn't maxed out by now. It will max out for sure. And his defense only three. Ugh. Three defense. That is that is pathetic. Okay, let's see what Florina can do here. Florina can't do much, honestly, and I don't I don't like that Florina can't do very much. Um, guy cannot reach anyone from right here. That's not that's not good. He can reach this guy, but that's puts him wide open to be attacked, and that is not a position I want him to be in. I mean, as awesome as he is, I really don't think he could fend off all those attacks. But but you know what I could do? I had a thought. I had a thought, ladies and gentlemen. I had a thought. But hold on, let me do this first. Let me... I want to get Lowen... Lowen's 97 experience. Okay, so we'll get a level up just from striking this guy with a lance. So let's do that right now. And Lowen, yeah, on the forest tile should be fine. He should be fine. I shouldn't have to worry about him at all. So let's get a little bit of a level up here. Let's see if Lowen can become the dark horse. Literally, the dark horse. And rise up to take it. I don't know if he's going to do it with that level up. But I'll be, now have everyone... Excuse me, on an even playing field. So all of my Cavaliers are currently level 7, so I'll be able to directly compare them all and see which one I want to go with. I don't know, I really like Sane. I like that strength and speed a lot. I don't know, and that defense. But Kent's doing pretty well too, I gotta say. I don't know. I don't know. I'll decide. Like I said, I'll decide. I'll decide. And I'll let you know. I will let you know next chapter. Okay, so I gotta prepare my little guard over here. Uh, did I visit this house already? Uh, I think I did. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. Your company seems close-knit. It's vital to have friends who support and assist you, isn't it? Says this woman with braided hair. Look at that. Those braids. Those are beautiful. If you want someone to get along, stay close to whom you're... Oh, so this is a little preview about support conversations. I already know. I talked about that a lot. Um, I'm gonna put Urk right here. Now, this little blockade is going to prevent anyone from reaching... Look at Oswin. Oswin is so good. It's going to prevent anyone from reaching Merlinus because we have a cliff there. We have Oswin just parked there, and we have a mountain tile. Cavaliers will not be able to cross that mountain tile. So that's going to be an adequate defense for all the crap that's going to come from up there next turn. And there's going to be a lot of it, trust me. There's going to be a lot of crap coming from up there. Uh, all right. Let's see what Florina can do. I don't know what I really want her to do, to be honest. Um, I kind of want her to just stay put, but at the same time, I also kind of want her to do stuff. I, I really don't know. Let's see. Let's see. What can Elliewood do here? Elliewood can... Oh, maybe Florina can take out this guy. Can Florina take out this thing with the javelin? Yes, Florina can do that. Um, I want to have Florina do that. Let's do that. All right. 75. Managed to hit. Good. I'm glad that managed to hit. That makes things easier. Now, that guy's gone. I'm going to move Elliewood up one space and take on this guy. Uh, hopefully, be able to do so. Oh, okay. I can kill him. Good. Let's do that. Let's get rid of him. Let's just get rid of him. 12 damage. Boom. Rapier. Right through the horse. Ouch. That's going to be a brutal kill, really. If you picture that happening, that's going to be brutal. Ugh. That's not, not pleasant at all. Uh, and I'm going to put Guy here, even though, like I said, I don't want to put him too open to attack. But on the forest tile, I really don't think anything will hit him. I, I really don't. So Hector can just sit there. That's fine. I don't need to visit the house again. And then we just have Merlinus. Oh, Lynn. That's right. Lynn. What do I want to do with you? I want Lynn to just sit there, I guess. There's really nothing else I can do. So unfortunately, she is going to burn through her manicotti a little bit. But that should be fine. I'm really not concerned about that at all. So and she, maybe she'll crit. Maybe we'll get some flashy criticals. Maybe flashy criticals. No, no flashy criticals. Zero. Zero flashy criticals. Oh, well. Uh, I tried. 
Okay, let's see. No, we have one more brigand down there. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get one. Okay, wow, interesting. They did not choose to attack Guy. They chose to attack Loen. In my opinion, what the enemy decides to attack, the units that the enemy decides to go after, is actually very telling of who is truly very good in your party and who is not so good. Because sometimes you can have some trouble interpreting stats and being like, okay, this guy has more luck, this guy has more speed, I don't know which one's better. And, you know, sometimes when the enemies choose to target specific units, that's sometimes a very good indicator of, of what's really going on. So, okay, we're done with the reinforcements from up there. Now I can totally change my posture, which is great, from a defensive standpoint to now being offensive because I am ready to start to take down some of these units. Now what I want to do is this guy with the archer, this archer's deadly because he's level 6 and he has a steel bow, so he can do quite a bit of damage if we're not careful. Um, I can actually have Hector go right up here and just take out that guy with a javelin that's been pestering me literally the whole chapter. It's been all about that guy throwing javelins at Matthew. I'm throwing javelins and he's missing. He's not doing a very good job. So, whatever. Alright, alright. Let's see. We got four units. We got actually five down here that I can use. I might as well use Sane to throw a javelin. He can't reach anyone else. And he missed. Naturally. Naturally. The, the Cavalier that I've been praising, I'm like, I think I'm going to stick with him. He's looking really good. Now he's missing every shot and he can't do anything. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, Florina, speaking of, speaking of, ugh, breaking my heart. Florina with that level up. I mean, she's still really good for level 7, but she could be so much better and she's not. And it's disappointing. Okay, well, Florina, oh, did I almost go to end turn? Oh my goodness, that would have been awful. Okay, Florina can take out this mercenary with no trouble and not get hit in the process, which is great. Which is, that's really great. Um, and she is uh, way out of the range of that archer, so that's good. I don't have to worry about that. Um, now we have a mercenary and a cavalier. I'm going to have to use two units to take down the mercenary. And I should have to only use one to take down the cavalier. But which one do I want to do with which? That's the question. Um, I think I want to have Elliewood attack the... Now, is this going to put him in range of the archer? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I think. I think that's fine. <laughs> I hope that's fine. Um, actually, let's do, let's have Lowen. Let's have Lowen do this, because he has a lance. So, Lowen gets the weapon triangle advantage. Let's, yeah, let's, let's do that. I don't, I don't see a problem with that right now. Good. Good strike by Lowen. Probably get hit for one damage. Not a big deal. Oh, I really do have a decision on my hands, though. Lowen, Kent, or Sane. I have to pick one. I mean, there's really no sense to use three. There's nothing, I guess, stopping you from using three cavaliers and having three paladins. You have an army of paladins. But, I mean, really, when you, know, you need a little bit of variety, I would think. You know, who would want to watch an army of paladins going... I mean, actually, that sounds pretty cool. Now that I'm drawing it up in my mind, an army of paladins going around kicking ass, that does sound pretty cool. But, anyway, anyway, and all that aside... Um, let's see what's going on here. Elliewood could take out that guy. Can Guy take out this mercenary? As long as I can get rid of one... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy can do that. All right, let's do that instead. Let's have Guy take out the mercenary, and let's have Elliewood take out the cavalier. I'm, I'm, I'm very hesitant to use my killing hedge. I don't want to break that out unless I really need it. Guy taking a hit there was not that critical. But let's see if Guy gets a good level up again! Look at this! Look at Guy! I am so... I'm literally jumping up and down. I am literally jumping... Guy, level seven? What? That is so good. That is unbelievable. I better not lose that one this time, because that would be so heartbreaking. Okay, I didn't mention last time about the wind sword, by the way. The wind sword acts as a normal weapon from close up, but actually a tome from a distance. As, as you've noticed, it did the little magic animation. Um, it is a B level sword. It's bizarre, because there's actually not many B level weapons in this game. Um, looks like I have to use the rapier here, which is fine. It's 15, uh, so that should that's that's fine. 93 hit percentage. Yeah, I'm not not too worried about that. Still, I was still a little worried, but not too worried. But guy, let's talk about guy. Okay, yeah, I died. I lost a great level up. Came back with another great level up, and then another great level, like great level up, not just like good. Great, it's great. Guy is fantastic. Guy is fantastic. He is. He's just so good. He is so good. He's. So good. Okay, good. Uh, all right, let's have Priscilla just give Will some heals. I think he's the only one she can reach, so not a big deal anyway. 
Good, good, good. I, I did all my shopping. That's all done. I'm like, have a checklist. I have a mental checklist of what I need to do. I think all that's left is to fend off this nonsense that's coming down from over here. What? Okay, you do have the lance. Good. I have Urk right here. That's fine. I'm going to have Matthew just go forward a little bit more. Actually, Matthew can bait out this mage. That's not in the range of this, is it? Uh, no. Good. Matthew can bait out the mage a little bit, because I don't think the mage will be able to hit. So that's good, and I think that's everyone, right? Lin's just going to sit here and do nothing. There we go. Alright, we got some brigands moving in for the kill here. Lin's got the Manicotti. Should be able to make really short work. Flashy critical. Aw, oh, man. That was, that's disappointing. 26. We got four strikes. Not one of them was a critical. Plus, it burned through more weapon uses of the Manicotti. Ah, I would have liked to get a critical. It would have been cool. It would have been great TV, right? It would have been great TV. Good. Lowen dodged that. And, oh, Lowen actually was in mage, range of the mage. Oh, my God. There was a 1% chance that everything could have gone and it would have been awful. There was a 1% chance. I'm so glad it didn't happen. I would have been monumentally upset. But anyway, all that aside. Um, what I want... Wait, wait, can Lin... Wait, did I just see that correctly? Lin can rescue Priscilla? That's really funny. I can be like, Priscilla, take your horse and everything. Get on my back. I'll carry you. It's like, what? What is going on? See, that's just proof of how awesome Lin is. Anyway, uh, Lin actually has quite a bit of dialogue with a lot of these units, so I'm going to rescue Lin and bring her up a little more so that we can get some exclusive dialogue with Lin in this chapter. Uh, what else am I going to do? Uh, Lowen's pretty much done. I don't want to get him any more experience. Guy is good. Let's, let's have Florina actually swoop in and kill this mage here. Florina should be able to do that. Uh, maybe. Should be maybe able to do that. Not quite able to do that, actually. Can Matthew get us some strikes? Oh, Matthew could kill him. Um, I want to have Florina preferably get the kill, though. That's the thing. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, well. Looks like Florina's not going to get that kill, but that's fine. That's fine. As long as it's double that, that critical percentage. Thunder has that very small critical percentage associated with it, and as long as that's not in play, I can finally rest easy. Yeah, you say, okay, it's only 2%. It's only 1%. I'm not having that happen. I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, oh geez. Okay, Sane, please, please hit. Please do something well here. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Sane. You really are the best. You're a trooper. You're a trooper. For that, for that alone. Okay, and now we have this guy with the steel bow. Shouldn't be a problem again for anyone. So we can have Lowen move back and attack him. Oh, wow. Lowen could get him really low health. Yeah, even though this guy... Oh, man, what a miss. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. I have Florina up here. I can't afford everyone missing. That would be... Oh, that, that would be awful. Uh, Hector. Is Hector... Okay, let's get Hector. Actually, yeah, Hector should get the kill. Why not? He has two strikes with a 65. One of them should hit. Okay, good. The first one did. I'm glad. Um, and we'll get a level up for Hector. Hector is awesome. Come on, Hector. Continue the trend of awesome level ups. HP, strength, and speed. Look at Hector. is a an absolute monster right now. And we got the victory music playing. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, do not let your guards down. We are far from victory, I assure you. Uh, as unfortunate as it is, we are far from victory. Okay, let's have Guy move right here. Although I can, which is actually cool about this chapter. Generally, in a, in a lot of these types of chapters, you have... Um, actually, can, can Matthew rescue? Okay, good. Matthew can take and drop Lynn. So that, that's pretty neat. And I can actually get this dialogue here with Elliewood and... Oh, no, wait. Uh, yeah, let's do it now. Elliewood and Lynn. Because we get the music. Lindis! Elliewood, you made it! Florina told us where you were. We're here to help. Thank you, says Lin and that's that's the whole conversation? What? I, I think they could have said a little more than that. Anyway. Alright, so we get the victory music, but like I said, we are far from, from over here in this chapter. Uh, we have these two guys sitting up here for very, very good reason. So don't worry. Because here comes the fun from up there that when you don't know it's coming just swoops down and ruins your whole plans and kills Merlinus before you can even blink an eye. And it's like, what? That's not fair. Luckily, none of them spawn with javelins. They all spawn with lances. And Oswin will be able to wall off all of them. Cavaliers cannot cross mountains, so that's a pretty solid defense right there. I have nothing, I hope, nothing to worry about right there, which is great. Um, what I can also do 
is, I don't know if I can get Florina some action over here. I think I can, because I don't think she's going to be, she's not going to be good for very much against the boss. So I might as well get her a little bit of action up here. She has a javelin she can start throwing. So if she stands here, she could actually hit anyone who decides to go over there with a javelin. Or it could hit whoever's over here. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I, I, I'm drawing it up very well. I already know how it's going to play out. All right. Uh, so let's have Lynn now go up. She has another conversation with Hector. So that's kind of interesting. Are you an ally too? She said, I like, I really like this conversation because it's so comical. All right, you kind of look like an ally. I've, I've never seen you before, but you kind of look like you're fighting on our side. And I'm just like, yep, that's what it looks like. In that case, I have something to tell you. We're a bit busy now. Save it for later. Wait, wait, hold, well, wait just a darn minute. That's meaningful. Meaningful dialogue to the, to the finest there. Uh, Urk actually has some dialogue with Lynn. I don't know if I'll be able to get that in. And finally, Matthew has dialogue with Lynn. So if we talk with Lynn, we can see, hey, you, you're, you're, uh, no, I'm not. You got the wrong fellow. Bye-bye now. Don't pay no attention to me. Stop right there, Matthew. Ah, saw right through my disguise, didn't you, lady? <laughs> it's not really, not really disguised. How can I not recognize you? You're, you're you. And yes, but I had to at least try to fool you. Being memorable is not the best quality for a spy to have. That, that's a good point. You don't really want to be a spy, and you want to have people going around recognizing you left and right. Spy, I thought you were a thief. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. He told Lynn she was a, he was a thief. Now he's like, oh, well, I'm a spy. Oh, crap. <laughs> What's this about? Come on, tell me. I can't. It's a secret. No girls allowed. No cooties. You're very knowledgeable. Well, very well. I'll ask no more questions. If you have any trouble, though, you can talk to me. I'm sure I'll be able to help. What a good friend. Ah, oh, lady, I believe you are. The, I believe that you are the one currently in trouble. You're either generous to a fault or something else altogether. This is so, so funny. Yeah, Urk has another conversation with Lynn as well. Unfortunately, not really set up to do that right now, but it's there if you're wondering. Um, let's see what I'm going to do here because I want to assault the boss as I am defending that little area over there. So that should be nice. Um, I think because the boss has a javelin, I can't get in free range attacks, but I could still get in a lot of strikes here. Um, I could have Elliewood. Elliewood has the wind sword, so he could attack from a distance. Hector could throw hand axes. Actually, Hector could probably throw hand axes all day and actually have nothing to worry. Let's do that. We might as well start. Start off by throwing some hand axes. Prepare to fall before your master, he says. I don't think so. Missed. Missed. Okay, good. I was like, I hope something better hit there. That would be so anticlimactic if nothing hit out of all that. Um, okay. That's fine. I'm going to get everyone set up. The boss is not going to move. He's sitting on top of his throne, so I don't have to worry about that happening. Um, we have a few cavaliers here in case any units need rescuing. But other than that, I think we're, we're pretty much all set. So let's have these cavaliers who have screwed me over so many times. The cavaliers in the northwest corner. They're going to try to come down and attack Malinus. They're not going to get past Osmond. I promise you that. They might be able to do one damage to him. Maybe. Maybe one damage. So good. I'm so glad I'm prepared for this. Because I've been caught off guard by these bastards so many times. Yeah, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. Oswin and Urk are going to wall off that whole little area, which is just great. And Oswin's going to get a level up. Oh, look at Oswin. Strength, skill, and speed. How about speed for a night? Oswin is fast. He's a quick guy. All right, no one's spawning with javelins, right? <laughs> right? I hope not. No, no, they just all have lances. That's fine. Uh, so let's have Urk finish off this guy right here. And Oswin's just going to stay standing on that house. And it's going to be a great strategy. That's, that's how it all works. It's going to be fantastic. So, yeah, no, don't go out with Oswin and attack aggressively. Just have Oswin stand there. There's nothing nothing to worry about. So I'm going to leave Florina right there. Hector could just continue attacking with Hand Axe. He could do that all day. Um, let's see who else we have over here. Really, I guess no one else. I mean, I guess I want Hector to get the kill. Lynn probably has some sort of dialogue that would be interesting to see if we can do that. So I'm just going to have Hector continue to throw... <laughs> Throw hand axe. Actually, Hector can probably stand in front of him now and attack with the emblem axe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Hector can do that easily. Actually, let's have him. Let's have him wait there. That's a, that's a better idea because I don't want to finish off this boss with this dialogue to be had. So um, we can have Kent move up here. We can have Priscilla move up here as well. Can Priscilla heal someone? Okay, yeah, only for one. But I mean, when you when you have a healer, I talked about how hard it is to get a healer experience unless you have ab uh, arena abuse. That's a different story. But 
normally it's very difficult because obviously they can't fight so you can't just be like oh i'm gonna park them in front of all these units and everyone you know they're gonna get attacked over and over and kill a bunch of them and gain a lot of experience that doesn't happen with healers so uh these guys aren't really doing anything they're going to just sit around on these forest tiles. Why not? Florina is going to stay there just for a little bit of support. Oswin's going to sit right there. I don't want to equip the javelin, actually. No reason to do that. Um, so just have him wait there. No problem. No rush. What's the rush? What's the rush? There we go. This guy, yeah, Balker, level 18, has no chance against Hector. Hector could solo this boss easily. It's not even difficult. It's easy. So... Anyway, this guy has literally no chance. Seems like a gentle man, though, doesn't he? He's just attacking me. He's throwing spears at me, but he seems like a gentle man. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so Oswin and Eric will be make a great team for down there. Okay, so let's keep doing that. Let's have Urk attack with fire right there. Kill it with fire! Yeah, good job, Urk. Gets a lot of experience for Urk as well. Invaluable as a magic unit right now. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep Urk throughout... But for now, I mean, Urk is my only magic unit, so, so he's really good as far as that goes. Now, let's see what I can do here. Balker has 11 health. Oh, there's probably dialogue to be had with all of these guys, but... Oh, man, that's a, that's a tough strike there. But that's fine. Actually, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. Let's do that. Let's get some dialogue. Three. That's going to do 11 damage. That's fine. Let's do it. Dialogue! No dialogue. Wow. No dialogue between Elliewood and Balker. I'm surprised. Okay, so let's see if... I love the wind sword. Isn't it so cool? It's so cool. All right, let's see then if I can rescue you and I can move you there. And then I can... Uh, I can take him and then drop him. Oh, man, I don't know if I can do this all in one turn. Oh, I could. I could totally do this in one turn. I, I messed up a little bit there, but that's fine. Uh, I want to trade. I want that wind sword. I want Lin to have the wind sword. I want Lin to use the wind sword. That's the goal of all of this. There we go. Um, there. And then I want Lin to stand here, trade, get the wind sword, and attack with the wind sword. There we go. That was that was a process. Uh, but okay, let's see if, the, if we have some dialogue between Lin and Bok. We don't. Wow, all that for no dialogue. I mean, it's good experience regardless. Look at that. That's so cool. Lin just holds it up triumphantly. I like that animation a lot. Some of these animations are pretty rare, too. Because, like I said, ranged swords, they don't exactly come across them very often. So, anyway, I'm going to have... We might as well let Will take a shot at things. Why not? Let's get Will some experience. One... Oh, zero. <laughs> nope, he's going to get one experience, anyway. I thought he'd get a little bit more than that if he hit. But anyway, so all we have left is this guy. I can use the wolf feel if I really wanted to. Um, might as well. Why not? That's what it's made for, right? Let's kill some knights! With the wolf feel, overkill! Yeah, Hector comes crashing down. We've been defeated. Such a shame, he says as he dies and fades off. As Hector's gonna get an easy level up from that. That was an easy, easy boss. Probably one of the easiest bosses we've seen so far. HP, skill, and luck. Such a weird level up for Hector, but hey, some few stats that he needed, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can do some healing. We can heal up Will. Next turn, by me, we could finish the chapter, but at the same time, more experiences to be had with Oswin and Urk over there doing their thing. So, and Priscilla's gonna get a level up. How about that to cap things off? Come on, Priscilla, level four. Skill and luck? What? What is that? Ugh, that was gross. That was gross. That was disgusting. I mean, luck is important, but no, no, that was gross. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, I think we're all set. If See, that's the thing now. If surprise reinforcements come in from somewhere, and I'm like, oh, crap. I can just, like, I can just seize the throne and be done with it, actually, which is which is good news. So, anyway. Um, all right, these guys, like I said, no chance against Oswin. Oswin even dodging some of their attacks. So, Oswin just gets to wall off. But this is crucial, by the way. It is, if you don't do this, if you don't anticipate this happening, you, like, as you can see, you can just get so screwed over by these Cavaliers coming down, killing Merlinus, and then that's it. That's the end. That's the end of everything. And it stinks. It stinks. That's right, it stinks. I think that's, that's a rocky point. Anyway. That's Florina throwing a javelin, get a little bit of extra experience. Just like, just how Coach drew it up. Use some fire to attack that guy, and then leave Oswin parked on the house. No reason to move him again, right? No reason to do that. Oh, a level up for Earth too. Look at all these level ups coming late in the chapter. That's what I like to see. Magic in speed and nothing else. 
But magic and speed! That's good. Like I said, I think I talked about this before. Urk's usefulness, his general usefulness, and how good he generally is, relies heavily on his speed stat. If his speed stat is good, he'll be pretty damn good. If his speed stat is piss poor, well then, as you can expect, he won't be very good. I'm gonna move Lin back here. I'm gonna try to get this dialogue with, with Urk, if I can. Um, so, it's, it's cool dialogue. I think it's worth showing off. There is also special dialogue with Sarah and Lin as well, but Sarah is not, obviously not in this chapter, so we can't see that. I'm done with Sarah anyway as a character. She's just not, I'm done with her. Uh, anyway, yeah, Oswick's just such a tank. He comes through in the clutch for defending Merlinus right there. Without him, that defense of Merlinus is extremely difficult. So, anyway, so leave it up to Oswin to save the day. We might as well have Urk get one of these kills, and then have Florina get the last kill there on the Cavalier. And then we should be able to seize the throne. Although, actually, what I could do... Now, you know what I'm going to do instead? Instead of that... Uh, let's have, let's do this. Let's have Florina rescue, oh well, eh, Florina might be able to get a level up out of it. Alright, let's see, oh wow, only eight, okay, that's fine. Let's see if, let's see if Florina can get a level up out of this. That, that would be worth it, that would be worth it. Come on, Florina! Oh, I did get hit by that though, oh, that's alright, I got plenty of backup, there we go. Gets in with the last strike, and that's it, those are all the enemies. Ah, oh, not, not, not quite enough for a while. Increased weapon level though, that's nice. That's nifty, that's neat. Alright, I'm gonna move Lin back over here. I'll take one more turn so I can get the dialogue there between Lin and whoever else. Oh, I should have been healing this whole time. What am I doing? Priscilla's just standing around. Priscilla should have been healing to get experience! That's alright. That's alright. Only missed out on a little bit. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Good. Good, good. That's what I like to see. Um, now I'm gonna rescue Urk and just put him over here. And can someone take him, please, and drop him? Yes. Take and drop right there. And now let's get some dialogue between Lin and Urk as they reunite on the battlefield. I mean, kind of in the aftermath, but still. Lady Lindis, please stay back. I'll serve as the advance guard against no one. Please. This, we're being overwhelmed right now. Please. I need you to stay back. Retreat if you can at all costs. Don't make me do this. I don't want to see you die to nothing. Uh, anyway, why are you here in Kaelin? I've joined up with Elliot's company. We're here to rescue Kaelin. Please, would you, exactly, would you kindly withdraw? I mean, we're in immediate danger, as you can see. My grandfather's in the castle. I'm not going to retreat from this battle. You might be a noblewoman, but you haven't changed at all. Very well, at least stay near me. I'll be your escort. Thank you, Herc, she says. And notice, now we are ready to clear the chapter. We've had Lynn, Hector, and Elliewood on the same map. The first map that will have them, but the first of many, I'm, I'm sure, because those are your three main lords throughout the story. Let's seize the throne and be done with it. Commander Balker. He was a fierce enemy, he said. No, no he wasn't. <laughs> Commander Balker went out so easily. That was literally nothing. Once we defeated the remaining foe, the castle's yours. Thank you, Elliot, says Lynn. If not for your help, I don't know where I'd be right now. Okay, probably dead, but that's okay. All this happened because we routed Lord Darren at Laws. This is the point I was bringing up before. This all happened. It was kind of our fault. Like, all these units came out of Laws and went and over and attacked Kaylin and it's kind of my fault. I've been working so hard to, to save Housen, and then, I don't, know, I don't even know. Anyway, this is about your father. I would do the same thing in your position. What happened in Kaelin is not your fault. It's not your fault, Elliewood. Elliewood, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. This is so funny. Elliewood, we're moving into the castle. All right, who's that? Good question. Oh, yes, let me introduce you. You look like an ally. Hector, what? This is Lindis, she's Lord Housen's granddaughter. Lindis, this is Hector, Lord Uther's brother. His brother? Really? He says, yes. Believe it or not, I was watching the way he fights. He's not like you, Elliot. He's somewhat like my own knights, but different still, she says. He relies so much on power. It's like he's never... It's, uh, it's like he's never been properly trained. I haven't. I talked myself out of fight. I have no issue with that, but the way you swing that axe around, you're a threat to your allies. You should be more watchful. That's like, what a great... Lindis, come on, you just met the guy. It's like, you're already critiquing his fighting skills. Plus, look at Hector's stats, he's a boss. What did you say? Lindis, what's come over you? I'm, oh, I, uh, my apologies. I didn't intend to seem so critical, it's so true. Lindis started being like, oh, the way you fight is ridiculous. You should model the way I fight. I know you came to my aid, but still, you're going to kill someone with that. Anyway, Hector's style may be a tad dangerous, but there's no one I depend on more. You may think him careless, but he's always aware of his surroundings. The more you praise me, the less worthy I sound, says Hector, keeping things in perspective. It's so great to see the three lords on screen at the same time. Once you fight alongside Hector, I'm sure you'll understand. I'm sure you're right. This is such a long time devoted to this 
Conversation. I'm honored to have your help. No apology necessary. I'm glad I could lend a hand. Let's go inside, shall we? Let's transition this conversation to actually talk about something important. Let's go inside. Oh, wait, we're still outside. Ah, yeah, that's right, Lynn! Hello! It's good to see you again. Is it really you, Eric? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm getting emotional. This is ridiculous. So good to see you. Have you been well? Well met, Eric, says Kent. Good to see you again. Ah, well, this really is a pleasant surprise. Hello, Eric. Has it really been a year? Actually, you know, considering the rate at which these videos have been uploaded, it could have been a year. I don't know. But what's wrong, Florina? You needn't hide back there. Uh, nice to see you again. I don't suppose you... Do you remember me? Do I remember you? I put you on a pedestal, and then you disappointed me with that level up. Ugh. Yes, I remember you. I remember you. Everyone who remained in Caleb speaks of you fondly. Oh, that's nice. I wonder where Eric is. I'm right here. Come at me, bro. I mean, whatever. Yes, you're right. This is the best time to catch up. We're here to rescue my grandfather. Eric, will you help me again? I, I, would wish, I wish it would give you a choice. Yes, no. If it was no, it would be game over. Wait, Darren is here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plot twist. Even Balker. Lord Darren, it's time to give up this madness. Further resistance is meaningless, says Housen. He's still alive. He's still looking good. For what you've done, you may never be forgiven. But it's not too late to try. Tell Elliewood everything. He'll intervene with Marcus Ostia on your behalf. You could still salvage all of this. And Darren says, I've lost. He's like, I've already sacrificed too much in this plan. He, he left his own country. Let me speak for you, he says. What? What just happened? No! No! What? You've got to be kidding me! We spent so much time trying to save that guy, and Ephidel just comes in and he's like, Nope! Tee! And he just kills him! What are you- What? My mind is blown! I don't even know what to do! Lord Ephidel, there's no turning back for you now. You should know that. First, Marcus Santarus, and now Marcus Kaelin. Both deaths are on your head. <laughs> Even though Darren didn't kill either of them. <laughs> yes, and see, it was by your hand that they both died. I never asked for this. Yes, I killed them for you to trap me. So Darren's kind of realizing, like, ah, oh, crap. Like, they kind of set me up a little bit for this. And I'm paying the price right now, and I can't even do anything. My master's orders. I only wish to deliver your dreams to you, the crown of a united Lycia, and once that is done, dominion over the entire continent. Is that not what you desire? Yes, it is. Oh, man, such a tough... I, I kind of feel for Darren a little bit. But at the same time, with that response, he's... With that response, he solidifies himself as a villain. So, sorry. You're exactly right. No, purple is apparently the co color of evil in this game. Our plans may have gone drastically awry, yeah. You think? But as long as we have his master's power behind us, we cannot be defeated. Oh boy. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. We do well to leave now before those meddlesome worms arrive. The meddling kids and that dog. You better leave everyone from laws behind. We use them to delay our foe. Unfortunately, no, we don't get like a Scooby-Doo unmasking of Ethidel and find out that it's really like, I don't know. It's it's really glass this whole time. It's been glass. I don't know. Uh, the Black Fang and it's Lundgren resurrected. It's plot twist. Uh, more than suffice for that task. There's no one else I need, I, I assure you. Yes, I see that now. Where do we go from here? To the Dragon's Gate. Oh, that sounds important. Our master awaits us there. The master has informed me our hostage. Okay, things are starting to add up a little bit. If all goes well, we may be able to try to perform the ceremony with him alone. Is that so? <laughs> I'm going to just take your word for it. You went, you killed two Marcuses, and I really don't like you, but you know what? I'm just going to agree. I suppose we have nothing to worry about. Now, please, begin with your retreat. I have two or three orders to give, then I will be right behind you, he says. The plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. And here's Ephidel, pathetic imbecile. It's what he really thinks. Haha, <laughs> who's this? Leela, where are you? I always pronounce her name Leela. She's actually a pretty significant character. Um, so Leela is, uh, is, well, you'll see. While Elliot is occupied, finish off Marcus Kaelin and hide the body. The enemy will waste precious time searching for him. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. As you command, she says. You know, you've only been with the Black Fang for a short while. However, you are quite skilled. I look forward to watching you. Ephidel says, yes, sir. So we get a bit of a new character there in Leela. What is going to happen next time? We are advancing into the castle. There are still units to find and still units to fight. Will Ephidel and Gar Darren get away with this? What of the Dragon's Gate? What of this hostage? Who's the master? So many things going on. We'll find out next time in Let's Play Fire Emblem. This is Shadow Mario 41. See you guys then. Ciao.